Um, I'm trying to give a short presentation of our discussion and outcomes of uh, breakout group three, uh, setting agriculture production towards food security. Um, we had uh, three presentations from uh, German colleagues, uh, which have been uh, quite long, and also the discussion uh, concerning this presentation have been quite, quite long. So I also want to give you some um, information what we have been discussed with some uh, interesting, uh, interesting aspects, uh, which we probably need to be further discussed and developed. Uh, one is the question how to integrate uh, poor and landless uh, farmers in uh, agriculture and rural development in Davis, uh, for example, in uh, uh, public partnership in Davis. And also how in connected to this, how to ensure that they are really benefiting from um, this exercise. Um, another issue is, um, Again, how to engage small farmer farmers and the connected issue who are really the smallholders today because uh, the smallholder societies, uh, the transformation, there are more women now work uh, in the smallholder sector. Um, they are more used now, but they are not really interested in agriculture. They want also other perspectives. So what we need to uh, do to attract uh, youth to, to work in agriculture. And there was also a lengthy discussion about the inclusive business model and a uh, question which was interesting for me, is inclusive business model really inclusive? Uh, does it include, for example, um, smallholder farmers, landless farmers, who is uh, included in this? And, Again, linked to uh, the market side, the uh, demand side, we really need to take more account of the demand side, not just of the production and the supply side, but also of the demand side. Uh, briefly to the key messages from the group. Um, sorry, have forgotten to move forward. Um, resilience needs a systemic, holistic approach. It's not uh, enough to uh, address, for example, only economic resilience or only ecological resilience, but rather to do it in a systemic, holistic manner. Then uh, there's a necessity to uh, further develop the territorial approach. Uh, for example, the territorial approach allows a combination of uh, sustainable natural resource management with agriculture production, but it also allows uh, close cooperation, for example, with uh, local governments who have a key role in uh, um, setting up, uh, for example, land use plans, and of course with the, the farm organization, farmer uh, cooperatives. And also, um, key outcome of the group, agriculture contributes to resilience, especially through income generation, key factors, uh, access to assets, and as a model linking farmers to markets, for example, the inclusive business model, which I already mentioned. Um, as we had a very lengthy discussion, we didn't really concentrate on the just second folio, uh, uh, so we combined it in one. What can platform members do? Um, the first thing is exchange on information concern on, sorry. <laughs> On uh, portfolio mapping, uh, continue the L'Aquila process, increase the work on uh, private sector involvement and linking farmers to markets, and again thinking how to uh, link um, vulnerable farmers, landless farmers, women, uh, other um, marginalized uh, actors uh, to the markets, to exchange directly with uh, farm organization or corporates, and uh, much important to uh, strengthening farmer capacities uh, to enable them to articulate their, their voices, their demands and priorities. And to address the rural transformation agenda, as already mentioned, there is uh, change taking place in the, in the rural uh, sector. Um, and also the need to further develop uh, the territorial approach. Uh, I have, uh, have mentioned all the important issues. If there is something to add from the colleagues from the uh, breakout session, please do so. Thank you very much.